Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. Today we will be going over another Zero Rare decklist and that is Touched by Death. Now what could this deck entail? Well, it has a lot of cards that you may not uh, see that often to combine together. So it's basically a deck that combines Death Touch with abilities that can hit our opponents with the creatures that have Death Touch. So we basically clear their board state very efficiently and very easily. How do we do that? Well, we have Mask of Immolation where we sacrifice one of the creatures and basically it just insta kills any creature our opponent has. Or we have Heart Piercer Bow, a card you never see playing. It's one of the oldest cards I can remember from, like, uh, you know, uh, standard yearly. Uh, decks, you know, M20, M19, all that stuff, that basically is a 3 mana, attack with the creature and basically kill a defending uh, a defending player's creature that he controls. So it's a very very strong combo, I really like it. And we combine all that with some other spells like Obnixil's Cruelty, Carnival Carnage, that Statue, and of course Domri's Ambush, which also targets planeswalkers, da death touch doesn't work on planeswalkers but still a very good way to outcontrol those planeswalkers. Now apart from that we have our own planeswalkers called Vraska Swarm Immense, if you remember her from our death touch buffs deck which was another zero deck list that was very very cool but today we're gonna be using her to create those uh, death touch tokens and also buffing up our creatures which is very cool apart from that we have a lot of death touch creatures of our own such as uh, Falmire Knight one of the new ones that also has a draw card which I really like we have Vampire of the Dark Moon pretty strong as well uh, Ors of Enforcer a great card considering that it has afterlife and of course Leyline Prowler a card that will come very handy and useful in the long run now without any further delay let's get into the game like always with zero uh, decklist we will be playing this in standard non-ranked because it's uh, the place that I can showcase this deck off and you can have the most fun with and as always with the zero rare decklist I do want to say that uh, I really love these decks because you can have a lot of fun with them, you don't really need all the wild cards to create them as one of the top tier decks probably need. Uh, okay, we can. I kind of like it, we have every single mana, we have a little bit of uh, access to stuff, I like it, I like it. All right. And yeah, so you can have a lot of fun with it and you don't really need to spend too much you know, of your valuable time or money or you know, which basically goes to wild cards as you would need with other decks. So, do remember that you play these decks to have fun and see different aspects and chunkier decks of uh, of magic, as they say. Now, I do believe Leila and Prowl will probably die right here, but we don't really mind. We have the mana we want. We are missing one mana drop, but we do have a lot of primal removal here of course if they don't play another creature i will definitely play rascal swarm immense and create a creature okay so mono black creature without hand hate that's, that's kind of interesting so here of course uh Vraska swarm immense comes very very useful i would love to see an untapped mana here it's kind of what i didn't want to see considering that uh I would love to have attacked here, but that's okay. Uh, next turn we can have Vampire of the Diamond plus Horrors of Enforcer down, plus our other creatures, I really like it. Uh, ooh, they have... Um, if I guess it, I guess they have... If I had to guess, I guess they have this figure in their hand, since uh, this gives them basically one more mana. Which is... First game of the video, first game of the day actually playing Magic, so of course you're gonna have a little bit of a frame drop, it always helps on the first game, it fixes up, don't worry about it. My PC can handle Magic the Gathering. Oh, so they do not disfigure, because they wait something else. Now, disfigure works very well versus Ors of Enforcer. It's kind of... Okay. This is... Uh... I'm intrigued. No creatures. Turn four knights. Mono black knights with two mana. All right. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna play both of my. Uh, 
uh, death touch creatures and if they die they die I mean this person is very annoying considering it's, they're just all the time I'm like oops oh my god it's just like just play the game brother you're very slow all right Jesus Jesus Hey, I am actually allowed to attack, that's insane. So, as I said before, the Death Touch buff deck was basically a lot of Raska and a lot of Death Touch that basically got buffed, which was pretty cool. Actually, uh, should I have spawned it? Uh, maybe I should not have spawned it. But anyways, uh, now Leyline Prowler is stronger, which I really like. Oh, they finally played their freaking uh, eggs. The disfigure. <laughs> Oh my god, they managed to play their creatures, their uh, cards in their hand. That is actually insane. I thought this person would actually just keep on using their emotes and never play. Good job, baby. Good job. Alright, so we do have a lot of primary removal in our hand, but then we have a very good board state. So, I don't know. They have two mana open. Alright. I mean... I legit don't care. I really would love to see mana. Jesus Christ. Well, since uh, Order of the Midnight cannot defend. And it's gonna kill Vraska. Might as well do this. Just buff up all our creatures. Unfortunately, they're still not above Cry, the Carnarium. Which I... Oh, I should have yet... I should not have attacked with... Uh... Spirit, I totally forgot about this flying. Whoops. Oh. Really? Murderous Rider? Jesus. Play more prime things. Yikes. They of course kill Vraska. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I consider that a pretty sure play. Wow, a mana? It's amazing. I think this is not considered death, so it will not go to the bottom of the library. The bottom of their library. There we go, speaking English. Uh, Jesus. It's difficult for me to speak today for some reason. Oh, okay. They have still three mana up, or four, depending if they drew mana. I have a lot of prime removal. Like, there is pretty much nothing that they can play that's that good versus me. Yeah, I insta kill that. Okay. It's a good game. Now this, this is a good game. So, if you like this deck, make sure you know to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's very, very helpful. I really do appreciate it and every one of you for, of course, subscribing because we are having a lot of people coming in and watching the video. So, you know, thank you so much for doing it. I won't bother you anymore with it. We'll just get on with the video. Unfortunately, in the previous game, we did get the Heart Piercer Bow or uh, Mask of Immolation, which is kind of weird, but sure. But we did get some Vraska's for him, which is kind of cool. All right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this is uh, this is prime. This is prime meme territory. I like this. I like this a lot. Like, ooh. I, I can feel the memes. I can feel the memes coming in the air tonight. Hold on. Fortunately, we do not have a red mana source. Oh, please don't have the spectacle pull drill beat. Don't have drill beat. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. I don't care. Sure. Ah, I really don't care. Okay. Easy poke club. We wait, we will wait, we will wait. All right, we wait to play Carnival since we decided we're gonna play Carnival. Okay, ooh, okay. Okay. Since they decided that, might as well kill it. They will need something else to activate it. Uh, of course, we're gonna keep Dome Resambles open if we need it, if they use a discard on us, which they probably will use a discard on us, if I had to guess. Love
love to see. Uh, actually, we cannot use Dom Rizambos. We don't have red mana. Spoke of the speak of the devil. All right, so we use. Uh, we actually gonna use it on the Dark Moon. Uh, uh, the Vampire of the Dark Moon, because it's more efficient to have another G2. Gonna put this over here. And look at this fun time plays. They die what no matter what, I'm pretty sure, right? I think Heart Piercer Bow. Oh no, it's only Heart Piercer Bow, so it's not the Death Touch. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna have people in the comments be like, Oh my god, Heart Piercer Bow does not work with this deck. You need to. Set the fuck up. Again, alright? Jeez. Alright, so only Mask of Immolation works with it. Alright, my bad, my bad. Chill out your panties. Your pantaloons. Pretty sure it doesn't work as it says. Uh, hard piece or bow deals one damage and... Unfortunately... I have to put now in the edit like, yes, I understand later the video, it doesn't work. Alright, fine, fine, we'll change it up. We'll change it right now, I guess. Alright, I changed it, I put in another carnival and another statue statue, and I took out the two heart pressure bows, because, alright, sometimes, you know, when I brew a deck up, I make mistakes. It's okay. Oh no. I don't like this person. <laughs> oh, this gotta be bad. I don't like Uno, baby. Ooh. I I enjoy Uno, but I don't like it because it tears families apart. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Do I even care about playing Diamond Vampire first? I kind of really don't, you know. Oh. Oh. Quality deck, Cavalcade. What else could somebody that plays Uno play? Yikes. Let me guess, Cavalcade, Team Street Dodger number two. In all honesty, is it not better for me to literally just keep Carnage, because Carnage will... I forgot about that, but oh boy, say bye bye to those. These are gonna go to my face. So I can just wait it out, I guess? I mean, they're gonna lose two shocks, so I don't really care, right? I mean, they're probably just gonna suck my face off. Huh? Alright. Okay. Okay. I mean, there was no way they were not gonna use their socks this turn. I'm gonna, for sure, Carnival the Goblin Banneret. I don't want it to buff things to Dodger at all. We really want Simana here. It's actually kinda cool. I like Mask of Immolation finally coming into play. By the way, although we're running 24, mana, 24 lands, we are getting mana screwed a lot of the game, so it's kinda weird. Okay, that really doesn't matter for us. Bye bye. Hey, I can't play that now, but hey. Of course, there I prefer to just kill Sandra Speedfire because that card is pretty OP. Hey, it's Kurt Speeder. And it's uh, Torch Cinderer. 
All right. Uh... All right, we're gonna put Mask of Immolation to, to all reserve enforcer. So I know 100% Mask of Immolation works. Don't don't you worry about that one. Okay. Let's see what they do. Oh. All right. I like it finally. Now I feel good. Mask of Immolation plus Quadra creature down. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. All right, Vraska Swarm immense. We will wait the turn, see what they're up to. I guess I will let them attack just because it will clear their board a lot easier. I mean, if they want to go for Vraska, that's fine. We have four of here and it also clears their board state quite a bit. So this for sure kills Vraska, but it, they, they lose so much out of it. Right. I mean, in all honesty, this just overall it just helps me. I don't understand why they exactly wait this much per play, but I guess when you're an Uno player, you have to do that. <laughs> oh boy. So do tell me down in the comment section down below. Do you enjoy this deck? Did you like it? Because it's probably gonna be the last game considering my time frame today. But yeah, what decks are you playing? What decks are you interested in to me to make? Do you like my Zero Red decks series? Because a lot of I have been told that actually with the full release of Magic the Gathering, it is uh, coming to a lot of... There are a lot of new players coming, which I did not really expect. Also, does any of you know about uh, Legends of Runeterra uh, League of Legends card game? Uh, which I will be playing. I'm waiting on my um, uh, beta key right now to come at some point. Or actually, whatever. So I can start playing it because I'm really interested in playing that game. And I think it has potential, but we'll see. We'll put Mask of Emulation of Empire of the Dark Moon, of course. And we're start bonking them, and we're gonna get a lot of HP back. But yeah, that is a game I am excited to play, cause I've played a lot of League in my life, so it kind of feels like it's gonna draw in a lot of people, which is good. You know, it's gonna be very good that it's gonna draw a lot of people in. And it's gonna give me a whole new audience, which is gonna be cool. So if I could combine people from Magic the Gathering to see that game, if it's good, I think it's gonna be good. I am not 100% sure of, so we'll see. But if it's good, it's gonna get a lot of people interested from Magic the Gathering there. And a lot of people from League of Legends will get interested in Magic the Gathering, which uh, Magic the Gathering I love. Like I love and I have been loving for many, many, many years. So we'll see.
really want something good here. Hey, that's a very, very good card. That is, uh, that is spice of life stuff, you know. Let's give that to a session. Uh, yeah, Vraska will die here, but we are gonna get 2-2 two, two Vampires of the Dire Moon, which will basically, uh... Lol, what? Who is Mother Ludi? So basically, this will give us a lot more extra healing that they can dis out with damage, so I really like that. Hopefully, at some point, they will draw some mana, because there, there's about time they drew some mana. Are they gonna go face? I would love for them to go face. Alright, so that goes to... Alright, so they do not go face. Okay, yeah, I don't care. What? Okay. 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 They finally drew some mana. They, they, it was about time they drew into mana, right? I'm gonna. Yeah, do this, this, this. And this here, yeah. We need to kill them and. We're about to just start healing for a bunch, and with the uh, statue open, I am more than willing to say that this is not only the last match of the video, but it is a match that we have won. Yep, that's great, that is great. Winning versus Uno. Uno. Unfortunate as it may be, that was our last uh, Game, uh, game of the video. This, uh, you know, overall the games were pretty good. They, I showcased almost everything in our deck, and I can say that versus these slower decks, and even versus the aggro decks, we have a pretty good um, overall playstyle, and we can fight versus them. Now we are not gonna be suited versus full-on control. That is true, but we have a good fighting chance versus all of the decks of. The other decks was, and yeah, that was pretty. It's a pretty cool deck. I always love Death Touch Tribal, especially like this wasn't so much Death Touch Tribal. It was more like a Mask of Immolation Tribal, but this can be turned around into a Death Touch Tribal with Frasca, and I'm gonna be doing that at some point soon because it's a great zero rare deck list that you will get to see and love. But yeah, that was deck. That was the video, and now, uh, of course. I do want to say that if you enjoyed this deck, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the games or anything I do, make sure to hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and make sure to subscribe because it's very, very helpful. And I do have the goal of reaching 1,000 subscribers at some point, which is going to be very cool. And I just, you know, just do it. It helps. It supports me quite a little bit. Quite a lot, actually. And yeah, also comment down below with anything and everything you want to talk about. I answer to every single comment, even those YouTube sometimes might notify you. And do understand that sometimes when you are being mean in the comments and you say it in a sarcastic way, but in your in your head it's sarcastic, but in the comments because you can never show sarcasm, I will not ever. I will not understand it, so yeah. You can type in the end like parenthesis, I was being sarcastic or something, so I don't get the wrong idea. You know, I'm human too. I cannot understand what you want to say through the comments you know, exactly. So do note that. Uh, but yeah, not that I'm mean or anything, but there was this person that was like quite mean, and I was like, why are you being this mean? You know, why? And she's like, I'm being sarcastic. I'm like, okay. How am I supposed to know you're sarcastic? Anyways, a little bit of a run there. But, do remember that I said that for the next videos, I'm gonna be giving you hints on the super 
secret uh, deck that I am building, right? That uh, one that I want to shake up the meta with. And today's hint is Fires of Invention. So a little bit more of a straightforward hint than the previous videos, but um, I think it will. It's not a big enough hint together with all the previous hint to make you exactly see what the deck I have in mind is, but it's a pretty good start to it. So yeah, that is the hint. I hope you're all having fun. I hope you're all having a great time, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you.